distinguished uh, guest and panelist and the organizers uh, assalamu alaikum and very good morning uh, in this e event actually it is my privilege to present a keynote uh, on a matter of uh, critical importance not only for the bangladesh but for the global community at large how sustainable finance is contributing towards achieving the sustainable development goals and the promoting decarbonization in Bangladesh. As we stand in the intersections of the financial innovations and environmental responsibility, the role of the central bank has expanded beyond traditional monetary policy. We are now taxed with the with ensuring that the financial system supports sustainable and the inclusive growth, the establishment of the sustainable finance development in Bangladesh Bank reflects the forward thinking, visions and the underscores our commitment to creating the resilience economy while safeguarding the uh, environment. Ladies and gentlemen, you might be known to you, Bangladesh, despite its minimal contribution to global gas, uh, greenhouse gas emissions, only 0.25% is ranked the seventh more vulnerable country in the globe as per the IPCC. So the country has experienced significant loss and damage from the extreme events weather, highlighting the urgent need to climate actions, even for low emitting nations. And as Bangladesh transitions is low carbon development trajectory, sustainable finance emerges a pivotal factor in ensuring sustainable development and enhancing the infrastructure resilience. The Sustainable Finance Department of the Bangladesh Bank was established in the 2015 with a clear mandate to promote the green and sustainable finance, ensuring environmental and social risks and the drive decarbonization efforts through the financial systems, eventually greening the financial system of Bangladesh. Since Inceptions of the Sustainable Finance Department Department is fostering sustainable finance system responsible banking that they aligns with the United Nations developments that is the SDG, especially the SDG 7, 7 that is the affordable and the clean energy and the SDG 8 that is decent work and the economic growth, SDG 13, that is the climate actions, and the SDG 17, a partnership, that is partnership for the growth. To achieve the sustainable development goal, actually Bangladesh Bank uh, has taken a lot of uh, initiatives for greening the financial systems through the banks and finance company. And I, have, uh, I would like to share a word view of the decarbonization financing in, by the Bangladesh Bank. I have already shown it. In the third one, actually the uh, second one, why we focus the expedite the decarbonization efforts, that means we, we extend the uh, both policy supports and the subsidized, subsidized low-cost financing. Apart from the uh, low-cost financing, actually we're giving the refining facilities to the uh, investors or the borrower. However, uh, we actually established a three refinance scheme for the greening the financial systems. Out of that, actually, till now, we disbursed 3,225 crore uh, for reducing the GSG gas emissions. I would like, like to share here that 
out of uh, this amount 90% of this amount disbursed to the ready made garments from this three funds and as of june actually our banking and financial industries contributes the 4368.3 billion which is the accounted for the 8.65% of the gdp and now you see the why decarbonization financing is required number one is the national commitments that means the how we achieve the ndc targets uh, through uh, implementing the climate centric uh, development plan including the sdg and second one thing the we are trying to mitigate the financing gaps the climate centric developments plans and the third one is the to combating the climate change that is the to reduce the uh, Uh, ghg gas as you know that uh, global target is the 2% and the preferably the uh, 1.5% but uh, our government would like to target the 6.75% uh, uh, unconditionally and the 15.12% and the uh, uh, conditionally in the business as usual well process through the time constraints actually i am hurry up here you see the uh, some uh, some plans for uh, combating the uh, climate actions by the government here you see the 1 2 3 plans it is required 533 billion us dollar is required uh, uh, by the government for implementing their climate actions Uh, but here i would like to share that actually a government aspect the private sector out of uh, those uh, investment private sector investment is the estimated 5.1% that is 0.4 billion that's why we uh, revisited our sustainable finance policy in the year 2023 and we extended the green product project initiatives from the 68 to uh, 694 uh, under the 14 sectors this is the policy this is the uh, uh, liberalizing carbon uh, car- decarbonizations by the bangladesh bank actually by two way we we are trying one is the policy support and sec- uh, second one is the financial supports and what is the policy supports actually we you see here that uh, since the beginning of the uh, 2021 we are uh, given some uh, a lot of uh, policy uh, to the banks and finance company for promoting the sustainable finance green finance as well as the uh, 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 green finance and last one actually we are giving the uh, this is very much important for attracting the bilateral investments and the foreign investments uh, we are uh, we are uh, uh, giving the circular uh, that is the guidelines on sustainability and climate related disclosures and instructed the bank uh, to calculate the finance emissions from the uh, 2024 and finally we are going ahead to the uh, to uh, uh, formulate the climate risk management guidelines and the carbon footprint measurement policies and you uh, now i would like to share the what's the uh, financial supports from the bangladesh bank i said earlier uh, three refinance scheme there here i show, uh, show that the uh, i already said that as the uh, uh, out of uh, three refinance scheme a uh, major portions of the shares uh, disbursed uh, uh, from this fund all, uh, only to the ready made garment sectors and this is the uh, overall scenario of the bangladesh uh, how much money uh, disbursed year to year by the financial industries you see in in the at the end of the june 2024 
actually we see that the green finance uh, that is that 14.6 percent of the total uh, disbursing finance in the bangladesh bank in the bangladesh and the sustainable finance 36.68 uh, percent and this is the last slide what were uh, our upcoming next works one is the uh, expansion of the funding existing the refinancy schemes introducing the dedicated de carbonization financing facility and tapping the global climate funds like that uh, green climate fund and green environment Fund. and another one another one is this we are trying uh, we are now working on development the green bank branch policies and another one is the introducing the blended uh, financing mechanism uh, uh, which will liberate both public and private capital for the decarbonization and also we recommend the government for the tax incentives for the investing in the carbonizations of the new uh, technology so as i hope actually bangladesh bank is the uh, forward looking to decarbonizations uh, for the upcoming uh, events or upcoming years thank you thank you very much